Alrighty, guys, welcome to the video here today for Friday, October 21st, 2022. Happy Friday to you. The weekend's finally here. And of course, my name is Brock Page. I've been doing sports picks for free right here on YouTube since 2016. I also sell my personal sports bets on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, guys, I realize this is an NBA video, but I got to let you know that We've been crushing it in our MLB tier package bets on my site. We're 5-0 in our last five bets in that package. I'll include a link for that package in the description section below. I know we're coming to the, uh, to the end of the season here, but we have a handful of quality games still left, and uh, we've been super sharp with it, man. We're definitely making a lot of money in that package. So once again, that's my MLB tier package bet on my website. I'll include a link for that package in the description section below. And just a reminder, we currently have over 610 members who were signed up and active on that site right now. With that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some free content. We're going to talk about a little bit of uh, some NBA basketball here. Let's take a look at the Pelicans at the Hornets. And that will be a 7 o'clock Eastern start time. Now, New Orleans is minus 6.5, totals 231. Uh, now the Pelicans did drop a buck 30 on Brooklyn in their opener. Brandon Ingram at 28.7 rebounds. Meanwhile, Zion Williamson had 25 points and nine boards as well. They're facing a Hornets team who's still going to work without LaMelo Ball. Uh, he's battling an ankle injury. Meanwhile, teammate Cody Martin's also doubtful with a quad injury. And for the, uh, for the Pels on the other side, uh, Hayes is questionable. Lewis is out. Uh, not really so concerned about the Pelicans injuries. Of course, I am uh, concerned about LaMelo Ball not being able to play. Uh, Pelicans are a good team. I think you're going to see them win a lot of games this year. I think they're, they finally got the uh, pieces in place. And when it comes to this game here, I'm going to lean toward the Pelicans minus six and a half over 231. Next ballgame, Spurs at the Pacers, 7 o'clock Eastern start time. Now, Indiana's minus three at home, totals 230 and a half. And despite their opening day loss, the Pacers got some real good offensive production out of Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, the the uh, guards scored 26 points and shot 56% from the field. Meanwhile, youngster, newcomer Benny Mathurin, he went three of seven from three land. And he also dropped 19 points himself. Now, the Pacers are facing a Spurs team on the other side who uh, mustered up just 102 points against Charlotte on opening day. Now, Charlotte is not a uh, defensive lockdown team. So uh, we're looking at a San Antonio squad who just struggles scoring points. And uh, now, defensively, uh, the Spurs did give up 129 points to a Hornets team playing without LaMelo Ball. Now, injury-wise for Indiana, Tice and Turner are out. Smith is questionable. Uh, regardless, though, I'm still going to lean toward Indiana minus three under 230 and a half. Next matchup should be a good one. I'm talking about the Bulls at the Wizards, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Washington's minus one and a half in the nation's capital. Totals 225. But despite getting the W in the opener... The Wizards' Bradley Beal shot just 28% from three land. Meanwhile, big man Chris Stapps Porzingis, he shot only 35% from the field. They're facing a Chicago team on the other side of things who took care of a very good Miami team in their opener. They actually held the heat to just 108 points in the win. Now, DeMar DeRozan dropped 37 big points, and he went 14 of 22 from the field. Meanwhile, big man Nikola Vucevic had a staggering 17 boards. Now, total-wise, both clubs played some fairly good D in their openers. I'm going to lean towards Chicago, plus one and a half, under 225. Next contest, it is going to be Pistons at the Knicks, 7.30 p.m. Eastern tip-off at MSG in the Big Apple. New York's minus seven, totals 218 and a half. Now, the Knicks did take Memphis to overtime. Uh, they did come up short, but they played the Grizzlies very tough. Uh, Memphis is a good basketball team. And uh, with that in mind, uh, the Knicks did end up covering the point spread. And they were led by Julius Randle, uh, Julius Randle excuse me, who scored 24 points 
along with 11 boards. Meanwhile, Cam Reddish went, went um, three of six from three land, and he dropped 22 points himself. Now, they're facing a Pistons team on the other side of things who um, knocked off a terrible Orlando franchise in their opener. So uh, don't let that record fool you. Detroit's not great. Now, total wise, Burks, Livers, and Bagley are still out for the Pistons. I'm going to lean toward the Knicks. Minus seven, under 218 and a half. Next ball game, Magic Hawks, 7.30 p.m. East. Atlanta's minus nine, totals 224. Now the Hawks put up 117 points on Houston in the opener. They beat the Rockets by double digits. John Collins went nine of 12 from the field, and he was perfect from the strike. Meanwhile, Trey Young had 23 points and 13 assists. They're facing a young Orlando team whose leading score in their opener played in his first professional game. Now, injury-wise, Isaac, Mo Wagner, and Harris are out. Fultz and Anthony are questionable. Uh, I'm going to lean toward Atlanta minus nine over 224. Next ball game should be a good one. I'm talking about the Raptors at the Nets, 7.30 p.m. East. Brooklyn's minus two and a half, totals 226. And even though the Nets are favored in this one, it does feel like the uh, wheels are kind of falling off in that franchise. They got crushed by the Pelicans uh, in their opener, and they gave up 130 points defensively. They're also going to work without Curry and Warren. Uh, Joe Harris also questionable for Brooklyn. Now they're facing a Raptors team on the other side who had a tough, gritty win against uh, a much-improved Cleveland team on Wednesday. As a matter of fact, Toronto held the Cavs to just 105 points in the win when it comes to offensive production. Pascal Siakam scored 23 points and had double-digit boards. Meanwhile, Gary Trent Jr. went 4 of 8 from beyond the arc and had 19 points. Now, total-wise, I don't think that Brooklyn plays good enough defense to keep this one under. I'm going to lean toward Toronto, plus 2.5, over 226. Next ballgame, Celtics Heat, 7.30 p.m. East. Boston's minus 2, totals 219. Now, the Celtics really handled the Sixers well in their opener. Really, uh, I don't want to say dominated the game, but they certainly took care of business. Uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, they combined for 70 points between the two of them. Now, they're facing a Miami squad who lost their opener at home to Chicago, and they allowed 116 points. They really didn't look uh, all too crisp or physical on the defensive end. They're also going to have to go to work without Oladipo and your seven. I'm going to lean toward Boston, minus two, over 219. Next ballgame, Jazz, T-Wolves, 8 o'clock east. Minnesota's minus nine, totals 228. And even though the T-Wolves got the W on Wednesday, they failed to cover the point spread against a terrible OKC squad. Now they're facing a new-look Utah team who... Shocked a whole lot of people by beating Denver in their opener themselves. They were pretty, uh, they were the pretty heavy dog in that one, and they actually got the outright W. Uh, they held the Nuggets to just 102 points in the win. Colin Sexton had 20 points off the bench, and he went seven of eight from the stripe. Meanwhile, Rudy Gay shot four of six from downtown, and he had 16 points. Always nice to see Rudy Gay back on the court. Uh, looking at a guy that have uh, that has uh, struggled with injuries over the past couple of seasons here. Now, total-wise, it does feel like both teams showed some pretty powerful uh, offensive looks in their last games, respectively. I'm going to lean toward Utah, plus nine, keeping this one close, over 228. Next contest, Grizzlies at the Rockets, 8 o'clock Eastern start time in the Toyota Center. Uh, I think it's still called the Toyota Center, but it is in Houston. Uh, Memphis is minus six and a half on the road, totals 232. Now, the Grizzlies earned a very tough overtime win against New York on Wednesday night. John Morant dropped 34 points and shot 46% from the field. Meanwhile, Santi Aldama shot 50% from the field himself, and he had 11 rebounds. Now, they're facing a Houston club who lost by double digits to Atlanta on Wednesday. They scored only 107 points. Now, their leading scorer was Kevin Porter Jr., who didn't even make it to the line once. Uh, he did a good job scoring, but uh, never got fouled. Uh, you know, 
never, uh, you know, never went to the foul line. Now, injury-wise, Washington and Tate are out for Houston. I'm going to lean toward Memphis, minus 6.5, under 232. Next matchup, Suns-Blazers, 10 o'clock east. Phoenix is minus 5 in Portland, totals to uh, 222.5. Now, I do think this is a pretty favorable number for Phoenix backers here. They're coming fresh off a solid win against Dallas, where they held the Mavs to just 105 points. When it comes to offensive production, Devin Booker scored 28 points, and he was perfect from the foul line. Meanwhile, DeAndre Ayton, he was dominant underneath the boards. He had double-digit rebounds on Wednesday. They're facing a Portland squad who's going to work without Peyton, Watford, and Saar. I'm going to lead toward Phoenix, minus five, under 222 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video. It is going to be Nuggets at the Warriors, 10 o'clock Eastern start time. Golden State's minus six, totals 229. And even though the Warriors got the, uh, the win on Tuesday, they did kind of, you know, beat up on an old, decrepit Lakers franchise. Uh, Golden State's also going to work without Iguodala and Baldwin. Now they're facing a Nuggets team on the other side who got uh, 49 total combined points from Nikola Jokic and Aaron Gordon. Uh, both of those guys looking pretty good offensively. Meanwhile, teammate Michael Porter Jr., he shot 50% from the field uh, in their opener as well. I think Denver should be able to keep this one close. I'm going to lean toward the Nuggets, plus six, over 229. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. I like the Pelicans, minus six and a half, over 231. Pacers, minus three, under 230 in a hook. Chicago, plus one and a half, under 225. New York Knicks, minus seven, under 218 and a half. Atlanta Hawks, minus nine, over 224. Toronto, plus two and a half, over 226. Boston Celtics, minus two, over 219. Utah Jazz, plus nine, over 228. Memphis, minus six and a half, under 232. Phoenix Suns, minus five, under 222 and a half. With my next and final free pick for the video, I'm going to lean toward the Nuggets, plus six, over 229.